hi guys i'm back thank you for coming back to my channel too if you are new my name is tolzani klava welcome please subscribe and stay tuned if you want to see this look Now we're going to start on the eyes. I'm going to take my Estee Lauder foundation and I'm going to use it as a concealer eye primer for my eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm going to take my Beauty Treats eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use the dark green over there. It doesn't look as dark in the camera, but it's, it's pretty dark. I'm going to start at the corners of my eyes and I'm just going to apply that. I'm just going to place the color down first. I'm not going to blend yet. I'm going to bring it in um, halfway. I'm going to take another brush, a clean brush, and I'm going to start to blend that. I'm losing pigment as I blend, so I'm going to 
go back and put more. I'm going to take a bigger clean brush and blend again. this Revlon eyeshadow all the products I'm using are going to be in the description box so you can check that out if you want to see the exact names and shades I love this eyeshadow it has this beautiful, soft shimmer to it, and I like it. So I'm going to take this brown blush from my very janky blush palette <laughs> and I'm going to put that color over here. Like that. And then I'm going to go back to that Revlon green eyeshadow, this one. And I'm going to apply some on the lower lash line here. I'm not going to go all the way, I'll just put maybe up to there, if you can see. take a clean what well, it was clean before I used it I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna blend everything one more time to clean up on the edges there I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder this is the Laura Mercier and I'm going to just Lightly clean that up there. I'm not wearing eyelashes today, so I'm gonna use my mascara.
So that was the NYX mascara. Now I'm going to take this one from JT1 and I'm going to layer that on top. have to be careful because my base is already done and I don't want to ruin it. I'm also going to apply a little bit on my lower lashes. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll come back and we'll finish up the look. Time to bronze up. You already know what I'm going to use. Because this is my favorite and I use it all the time. Shade Cappuccino of Anastasia Beverly Hills Bronzer. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose and then I'm going to take the Inglot bronzer which is much darker and I'm going to contour my nose with it. I'm going to do something. You probably won't even be able to see it on camera that much because Not too much, something really soft. You'll notice I didn't set my face, I just set my under eyes because this foundation is very matte and if you put a lot of powder on it, it's going to look even more matte and that's not really the look that I like. So I don't set it. Um, what I do is after I spray my face. I'm just going to see if there's any area that I feel like is too shiny, then I'll put a little bit of powder on there. Should we do blush? Yeah. Let's do blush. Today I'm going to use this bright pink shade it's very bright so I do a lot Now I'm going to take my Fix Plus setting spray. Today I'm not going to use this Urban Decay D Slick because this mattifies your foundation. So if I wear this foundation and then I put on a mattifying spray, it's going to be it's going to be the Sahara Desert and 
and uneasy. And this is Sahara. Ooh. I'm just going to uh, fix my eyeshadow here. The inner corner on this side is much darker than here, so I'm just gonna balance that out. For lips, I'm going to take my Faithful LA Girl liner. And then I'm going to take this liquid lipstick by NYX. It's in the shade Sandstorm. I think I look, I look a bit too shiny on my forehead and my nose. I'm gonna take a small amount of powder just from the lid. I'm gonna take away that shine. This is my look today, beautiful green eyeshadow and flawless base. Um, I'm almost out of this foundation. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it again though, or at least not anytime soon because it is matte and when I, at the time when I bought it, I was very much into matte eyeshadows, but these days I'm not so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this exact one but I know that Estee Lauder has uh, another foundation I think it's called the double wear light so maybe one day I'll try that out but I did like it I like using it uh, and I have a little bit left so I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts I also I also use it as a concealer sometimes because it's really nice and full coverage so that's today's look if you're not subscribed please subscribe turn on your post notifications so you see every time i post comment let me know what you think about the look would you do the look or if you did it yourself what would you change and also tell me what other types of looks you want me to do because i will very happily do those if i can so thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.